I want to show you these windows. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine windows, standard in a horse area. Now, there's a reason for that. And uh, any, any trailer is going to have 50% of its safety problems solved as far as comfort with the horses if they have a lot of light and a lot of ventilation. And, of course, that's why we put windows in every available spa space that we can. And, of course, there's sliding windows, safety glass windows. So if they crack, they're designed just like a car, not to splinter and be sharp edges all over the place. And they got bars, as you can see on all the windows, to protect a horse from, from uh, throwing its head into them. And if you will look up at the um, tie hooks... And again, on some of the videos I've seen online, these high hooks are sticking out. And I'm going to walk over and flip one of these. They lay flat when they're not in use. So you don't have to worry about that. No sharp edges. There's rubber line on the walls. Everything is designed to be safe in this trailer. Because one little thing that's sticking out... A horse is going to find it, you know that, and they're going to hurt himself on it somehow, and you'll never figure out why. As you look up above, I want you to see the vents, because that's another place of, of circulation. Heat rises in the trailer, so the vents are important because it allows the heat out. Now, our vents will go forward, they'll go backwards. So if you're going fast down the freeway, you might want to have them backwards to suck the air in. If it's not real hot out, uh, if you put them forward, it'll bring more air in. If you look forward into the trailer, you'll see an optional fans, which have been coming very popular in this day and age because it seems to be getting hotter and hotter all the time. So all of our customers and us are worried about the temperatures that rise in the trailer. Now our trailer, and you'll have to look at the construction video, also has the dual wall construction. So there's an inch of styrofoam insulation throughout this entire walls of this trailer and I'll talk in a minute about the roof but if you are kind of looking up at the roof you'll see that it is fiberglass but if you look and you'll see that steel structure instead of bolting or riveting down on that fiberglass it's molded right into it which gives us a one piece roof and as far as strength and durability you can walk and jump up and down on this roof without ever hurting it uh, so it's lightweight, durable, and, and strong in case a trailer would ever flip. Heaven forbid. It's got a roll bar effect. It kind of completes the cage. And these horses are going to be relatively um, in, in pretty safe situation unless it's really major. And even then some, we've seen horses come out of the trailer okay. Now, I know I'm not as heavy as a horse, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> But I wanted to show you this. I'm on, uh, I'm on sitting on the breast bar. If a horse gets over this, in a lot of the videos, again, that you may have seen online where they have these neat latches where the door swings out and everything, but if a horse gets over it, that's what I'm worried about. Um, I can just lift this up, get out of the way. Now, I've just released this bar. So if a horse shifts just a little bit, falls right out from underneath them. So... You turn a major problem into a minor situation. Another great safety feature about this trailer. I wanted to tell you one very important thing. We're going to take this down. These doors are 7 foot tall and they're 30 inches wide. And it's a tough door. Uh, but in an emergency, if your horse has an issue or somebody hits the back of your your uh, trailer and, and the doors aren't operating back there, but your horses are still safe because remember, we got all that heavy door back there in the ramp that you have to hit. Uh, they can walk out these doors and jump down really without getting hurt. So it works great in emergency and there's a door on each side. So you got a problem with that back and you can't get them out. You've got an exit on both sides of the trailer where you can still get them out uh, safely. All right, I want to talk about the floor because floors are very important. And there's a lot of floors coming out, out now, and, and there's basically uh, basically two types. There's aluminum and there's wood, but now there's another product really called rumber floor. And we use 
reach down. We use pressure treated pine, number one grade, under air. Have a lifetime warranty on this floor. If anything did happen to it 20 years from now, or you get a crack, or you want to replace one, you can go down to the local lumber yard and you can go ahead and buy a board. And we've got it made it so it's easy to take one out and put a new one in. As far as the strength of the floor, uh, one of our fears is will a horse ever go through it? This, this, this floor would have to turn to mush for that to happen because we have cross members underneath the floor that are uh, 16 inches and 24 inches on center and and that's what really gives a, the floor strength if you ever watch a builder build a house and they're going to put tile on it which is heavy they put the joists closer together and that re really gives it the strength the same idea is on this floor now aluminum uh, we'll talk uh, you may need to look that up in construction is another situation uh, we don't like aluminum construction in trailers very much there are some high quality aluminum trailers or low quality aluminum trailers but what happens is aluminum corrodes and that happens from the outline and urine in the manure and that happens over the years so you got to be careful about that there's a lot of ways to take care of aluminum floor it gets complicated and it will if you don't do that now some people have been putting rhino lining over the floor some manufacturers have done that that worries me a little bit because then you can never see the floor after that because it adheres to it and you can't take it up to look at it. So if it's deteriorating from underneath, uh, you won't know it. Now the other most popular floor that's coming about is called rumber floor. And rumber floor is basically boards about the same size as these, which are two by sixes, that run eight feet long. And, and it costs you more money. So if it's standard in a trailer, uh, somebody is still charging you for it, whether it's an option or a standard, and it's about $60 a foot. Now, we don't like rumber because a lot of people and a lot of dealers are saying, buy rumber and you never need mats because it's made out of a, a recycled, you know, tire, tires and some plastics. But um, what happens is it's a very flexible material. So if I was to hold one end of the board, and somebody holds the other one, uh, dips all the way down the floor and comes up. So we have to use a lot of bracing on it to put it in. The other thing is, the deal, as I was saying before, the dealers will tell you that you don't need mats. Well, that stuff is as hard as the board. So you have to have mats in there because the mats, like these mats, 5 8 inch mats, gives a lot of relief to the horse's legs when you're traveling. It, it's almost like you be on a concrete floor in a gym and somebody covers it with these 5 8 inch mats. And when you work on that, you can tell the difference after a long workout. No question about it. So that's why we put the wood boards in their standard, their pressure treated pine, number one grade. And, and like I said, they are lifetime warranty. Let me show you a few other things that are important about the trailer. Uh, DOT requires that you have one set of turn signals on the back. Um, we have eight total turn signals on this trailer. And, uh, and there's a good reason for that. We have one here which, and one here which a car can see very visibly on both of those. Uh, a tall truck might be able to see these a little bit better. We also have running turn uh, signals that run left and right up here that go off. And if you come around the corner here, show you, we also have a set of turn signals on the fenders, one on each fender. Now this is a very important one because of uh, two things. One, if you're on a freeway and somebody comes up alongside the, side you before you turn the t turn signals on, they can certainly see the one on the side. Plus, you can see it from your truck so you know your turn signals are working. Now, DOT also requires a light here and a light in the front and on most trailers that's what you will see we actually light up the whole roof line because uh, we like lights we think we think the more visible your trailer is at night the better chance you have that somebody knows you're out there so uh, we also put nice and beautiful chrome light guards on them and that kind of protects them but also gives it a really nice look now doors a lot of trailers you might see a nice a great big door like this and you say hey wow that's pretty solid that ought to keep the horses in but if you look closely at some of the other ones you might see that it's only held by a half inch piece if a horse decides to kick, kick this door open uh, it will 
and it could pop open too if you hit a uh, a rough bump in the road so uh, you know what happens when a door opens a horse wants to go out we certainly don't want that to happen so we have these big safety latches on the side of the trailer and you'll notice how long they are and that's a, a purpose too because we don't want the horse to maybe kick out the bottom of the door uh, and then maybe get a hoof out and pull it back in that could be a disaster now we also uh, on these fenders they're all fiberglass and they're painted and the color uh, by the way is a uh, color that you can pick uh, most any automotive color uh, we can get and we'll put it on here for you and that includes the trim this and the fender now the roof is always white to reflect the heat uh, chrome I'm sorry chrome uh, aluminum rims uh, they last a lot longer they look a lot prettier um, over the years you don't have to really give them uh, much service we also put a uh, diamond plate gravel guard all the way across the fender uh, to really protect it and then you can set stuff on it and it's maybe held by about six or so bolts and that's on purpose too because if you crush it you know hit a fence post or something uh, it's easy for you to order a new one from us we paint it up the right color uh, we send it out to you your body shop or you can bolt it back on and away you go and of course the aluminum running boards are also standard and they serve a purpose because you can step on them and step up into the trailer